Hey everybody, so what drama bullshit am I going to bring up this time? Well, it turns out uh, Rob over at Pinnacle, uh, I assume from what I can tell, the head developer, head guy at Pinnacle believes the last video I had made was purely about piracy and nothing else and obviously didn't watch any more of it more than the two minutes I had absentmindedly left in a unlock code for the software at hand. Well, instead of being, being a polite intellectual, to say the least, he decides to threaten legal action. That he's going to sue me. Well, about the same time I had made the forum post about asking for a refund and that refund, that's not an option. Uh, oh, by the way, before I start on that, uh, my account was banned and deleted in the Pinnacle Game Profiler forum. So I have no records of any of that unless you go to my last video, which will be linked down below. But besides that... So I asked for a refund the same time I made the form post. I, you can obviously see what I wrote. I do not need the software at all. The trial period wouldn't let me save settings I would have needed to test with, so I bought the software. No one at all helped me with testing any of what I needed to help needed help with, and turns out I was able to solve the issue outside of the software through Moonlight, they have a fax which you can use using a gamepad connected to the PC instead of streaming device. You can delete slash rename two, D two DLL files. Okay, fucking sick. I have no issue. That's all good. Uh, no help at all. And I don't need it. I would love to have my money back so I can buy another shield portable or shield tablet as my portable brick the screen and I have a, almost no money right now. The issue, and I link to the form post with everything listed, I also asked for a refund on the form, link to the form post, both of which are deleted. I made a second post, it was deleted and that seems really sketchy to me. I just want my money back from a product that no one helped me resolve an issue with. Okay. Seems good. Everything seems fine. Rob replies, there are no refunds when there is a free trial. That's how every software company in the world works. There is no need to purchase before you tested the software and you only spent six dollars. I see you posted a piracy video on YouTube. I promise that, I promise you that I will sue you for damages if you do anything like that again, and I promise you that I will, I will hire a lawyer and I will sue you for the crime you committed. For now, I just reported the video and it will be removed by YouTube. But again, if you keep pushing th this like you have some ground to stand on, then I will see you in court. You paid six fucking dollars for the software. Do you want to spend tens of thousands of dollars in legal fees and penalties over the cost of a hamburger. I suggest you talk to your wife and ask her if she thinks it's a good idea to keep trying to ruin my business over six dollars. This is going to get ugly for you if you make me go to court. This is open and shut case. The evidence of your crime is right there and a judge is going to be is not going to be sympathetic to you breaking the law just because you are pissed off. I sincerely hope my point has been made, but I will be Watching as I always am watching for pirates like you. Grow up and think before you act. You may have lost six dollars, but now you have put yourself in a position to lose tens of thousands of dollars. Obviously, so you felt principled to post that, but I also feel principled nah, and you are messing with the wrong person. Too bad you couldn't just be a nice guy in the first place and maybe you'd have gotten some help but instead you are breaking the law and I will come and sue you if you don't back off. My reply, 13 hours ago. 
seeing as you only seeing as you only watched the first couple seconds of the video and assumed it was piracy for some reason, I went ahead and blurred out the code for the software. I am sure if you listened to more of the video you would understand the point I was trying to make, so go ahead and watch it now. I went ahead and blurred out the code. Not because of this bully tactic, I am going to make another video later tonight about this vast disrespect to a customer and about you seemingly thinking I am the asshole for this whole thing. That's this video. Also, I am fairly sure if I lived anywhere besides the US, I would, I would be the one with the upper hand, as other countries have refund laws. So have a nice day. A little bit later, a couple minutes, because I had just finished the edits. Correction, the edits are 30% done. We'll take a few minutes for those to get pushed out again. Have a good day. Obviously, all I want is my money back. Obviously, this guy only watched about two minutes of the video, which I had absentmindedly left in the unlock code, which I'm sure doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. It was a 15 minute and 20 something, 28, 27 second long video, which obviously it's purely about piracy i'm a pirate obviously so oh again uh we sent i sent my friend six dollars pretty much he bought the software i thought he got a refund he didn't he sent me back my money and i was like okay he got a refund i paid rob i paid pinnacle for the software and obviously can't get my money back. So I have paid $12 to Rob and Pinnacle Game Profiler. And I am the pirate. I am obviously deep, vastly deep into piracy for paying $12. Well, correction, me paying $6 and my friend paying $6 for your software. But no... Ignore that, completely ignore that, that has nothing to do with this, I am a pirate. The video I made is obviously for piracy. Okay, moving on, I had made reference to UK laws. Okay, well you don't have to offer a refund. Faulty, damaged, no longer want the item, unless they bought it without seeing. You have to offer a refund for certain items only if they're faulty, okay? All good. Let's scroll down. Uh, where was it? You must offer a refund within 14 days. They don't have to provide a reason. Okay. Okay. Online, mail, and phone. Order sales. Okay. So according to this, if I was in the UK... If I didn't get anything back within 14 days, I would be in the upper hand. If I lived in the UK, this is not in the UK, I'm in the US. But, obviously... Oh. And apparently, in Scotland... Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to read through all of this. Yeah, obviously... Because he's saying that no refunds, period. Okay. You're obviously not understanding law. So, that's a whole nother thing. Okay, so... Saying it was a piracy video. You obviously have no respect at all. And no decency at all for watching the whole video, getting my whole thoughts on the whole situation with Pinnacle, with asking for help. You couldn't be, or Rob couldn't be courteous enough to say, hey, that has an unlock code, can you please remove the code? No. Of course, none of that. It was, 
Hey, you you are a filthy fucking pirate. I'm going to fucking sue you over six fucking dollars because your little fucking channel has 24 views on a video that I assumed is piracy. Well, obviously it's piracy. He's obviously in the right. Everybody just keep in mind, I am the fucking asshole. Okay? Let's see exactly how I was a fucking asshole. And why exactly I didn't get help. Okay, in detail. This is whenever I had given my friend the money in March. I said, I'm having issue getting Pinnacle to work with the PlayStation 1 controller. In Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2, the buttons are not working properly. I have everything mapped. I'm not sure if they're mapped properly. And when I try X, uh, X, yeah, X360 CE, which I worded it wrong in this, is set up everything fine. I don't know what I am doing wrong. Here is a long as hell video of trying to set it all up. It is unlisted. Uh, that will be in the link below. It will be in the description. It is 25 minutes long. It shows exactly what I am doing, what I am testing in the game, everything. He replies, pretty much, Launch as persistent profile setting. Run as admin. That is all he says. Persistent does not work. Anything else I can give a shot. So I explicitly explain pretty much I have to do guess the button. I've been able to get everything but the right analog stick to work along with the L2 and R2 buttons for, I believe, Dark Souls 2 and the right analog stick. I was able to stream it to my NVIDIA Shield, the portable, and have local controller support. That was my goal in the end. Without the L2 and R2 and right analog sticks, however, Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 2 are living hell to play. How can I get these inputs swapped and working correctly? And I make a video. I show the stream as well of what I was testing. I show the profile I have set up. Did you try running as admin the way I described? There's only two reasons. Only two. That profile would not respond. Enable persistent and run as admin. I apply. Yeah, after testing every combination. Everything works except the right analog stick and L2 R2. Everything is mapped correctly from what I can tell. Okay, no reply. I asked where the pro where the profiles set up so I can manually edit them. Because the issue can't, the the issue seems like it can't be fixed within Pinnacle itself. The files are encrypted, so you can't edit them manually. Do show wizard and follow the instructions. Pretty much, what the wizard does is test to see if the analog sticks work. They do work perfectly fine. Tried it all, worked absolutely fine. Still having the issue. I upload the clip of editing and messing with stuff. Very detailed, showing everything I have done. Still not working. I wait six days. March 29th. No reply. For six days, no reply. By chance, any beta or alpha build I can test with this controller. It is May 16th. 
2 in the morning. No reply. Anywhere. Remember, I'm the fucking asshole. I'm the douchebag that wouldn't get help. Because I'm impolite. Or something along those lines. Too bad you couldn't be a nice guy in the first place and maybe you would have gotten some help. But instead you are breaking the law and I will come and sue you if you don't back the fuck off. Okay, anybody, anybody that is still watching this, please explain to me, because I am a fucking idiot apparently. How am I not a quote nice guy? Please, I would love to know how I'm not a nice guy, because obviously, I'm a fucking asshole. Obviously, I'm a vast supporter of piracy. Obviously, I don't need the software. I would like a refund, but obviously, that's never going to happen. I do want to thank Rob, however, for this drama and this blatant disrespect to someone that has paid him for his product. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Anybody that will ever ask me for help with controllers, I will point them in the opposite direction of your services. You, my good sir, are obviously an asshole. You, my good sir, don't deserve the $12 you've already... I want to say stolen, but no. You've swindled me and my friend out of. We would like our money back. And I would love, absolutely love, to see you delete the form account I'm going to post this under. Seeking177YT. Prove me right. Please. Prove me right. And message me and threaten me some more. I would love that. Please do that. Please show how extraordinarily sketchy, disrespectful, and dishonest you are. As for everybody else, have a nice day. I'm fairly sure you got a laugh out of this. Goodbye.